Good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. I hope you're all keeping well. Hoping you're all keeping to the um, self-isolating rules. So, um, because I've got a bit of a lull at the moment, I thought I would do one of my own paintings. So, this one is this picture here, which is a bit dark to see. Let me see if I can you know, focus. That's better. Um, I just think it's beautiful. So, and if it comes out as well as I'm hoping, then um, it will be great. So, for those of you who don't know, um, most of the time, not always, but most of the time, you will get one of these pieces of paper in with your painting, which goes along with the number, the sign on your canvas. The DMC number, they've got EMC, but that, this is our DMC numbers. So if you do run out, you can order more of whatever. That's how many packs they've sent you. And that's how many pieces or drills you actually need. So number one, the code Z is 154. I need 2,159 of those. So they've sent 11 bags of 200s which uh, makes it 22,000 so that's plenty and you've got an extra 41 there I'm sorry my maths is terrible so others like 155 you only need 432 so they've sent three packs which is 600 so again, you've got plenty. Sometimes they only send you just about enough, like this one, um, which is a, a yen, I think. Um, code 415, they've sent five packets. And you need 993. So five packets is 1,000. So you've only got seven spare drills there. So if you're like me and you ping them, just be careful and make sure that it's not one of the ones that you need a lot of. Um, because they can only send you bags of 200, if you need, need like this one, 840, you only need 30, you'll get sent a bag of 200 because they don't split them up. Unless they come in jiffy bags. If they come in jiffy bags, you normally, they round them up, that, that would have been rounded up to 100. So... So that's how I do it. So um, here's another example. Um, H is 823. I needed 18,617. And they've sent 94 bags. 94 bags equals 20,000. So I've got plenty there. So once I've done that, I scan this page and just print it straight out. Um, on my website, there is a link to symbols. So if you haven't got symbols such as, um, where are we, this one here or this one here and you don't fancy doing it freestyle, you just cut them out and put them on. Or I say on my website, you can download a copy of the symbols file. Um, it's not mine, it's another lady kindly donated it. Um, and then I just cut them out and I stick them on here. So these jars take about a thousand drills. So about five bags. You can just about squeeze five bags in. When I cut the symbols out, I just stick them. As, as I cut one off, I stick it on and put it back in there. So they're in any, any random order. Um, and then I, I put them in. Ooh, sorry. Yeah, seasick. Uh, then I start putting them in A, B, C, D, blah, blah, blah. So you have the letters, then you start with numbers. There's no number one because we've got an I, and that would be just too confusing. Uh, there's no Q for some reason. I don't know why, perhaps because it's too near the O. Um, and then you go on to symbols. So I have got spare ones here which I'm not needing on this one because there is only 42 colours so then we go on to sorry organised today I'm going stir crazy uh, this is my pen of choice 
which is only from a cheap cheap shop um, has been cut the end off and stuck in a round drill which you can dob your wax into um, for squares which is this one I don't tend to use um, a pen I use one of these because you can see all, all the square drill sets will come with tweezers most of them come with the pointy tweezers which are a little bit harder um, these ones I think are great because your hand is over here I've said this before and the drill is there so you could place it directly on a square and you can see whereas if you've got a pen you're sort of like this and you don't know what you're doing so I would suggest you invest in a decent set of tweezers because the ones that you sometimes get sent these ones they don't grip as well they, they sort of ping out a bit so that's that so then what I did after I'd filled the jars up because they come in bags of 200 there was just so many so I took them out and I put them all in which some, some companies they actually do this for you anyway but I put them in these sealable bags I didn't do that one because that was the only one left and I wasn't going to waste a, a jiffy bag on that but these ones so I just cut the number off the bag stick them on so I know that these are my extra ones because we've got things like 823 and eight two three on here that was 94 bags this way it's just one bag one bag in there and it it just condenses it right down so that you can put it in there that is not what anybody thinks it might be that is a drill separator which i bought um yeah doesn't work but um and this I always find handy, which came as part of a family tree thing, which is a little magnifying sheet. So if you are stuck on a symbol and you can't quite work out what it is, I just put that on there to, um, to have a look. So you can use our good old faithful pink pens. I find them a bit light, so I've also got one of these which I use sometimes but as you can see the end does get blunt so but you've also got that end which you can you can move things about if you if you really need to so that's all of that there we get onto the painting so um this is I say a large painting and it's on an A3 light board now my light board i was getting through uh, i can't remember how many so i got one that has got this where are we there so you're not unplugging this bit and this one's touch wood seems to have worked you just plug that in to your adapter here and plug that in the other end into a plug so if you have got one that is just a one that plugs in here and then plugs into a USB, leave this end plugged in all the time because they do get hot and they do start to melt. So if you try not to touch it as much as you can, that will give you a longer life for your, your light board. So then what I do is I roll... Let's see if we can see inside the magic. They're in there, which you can't see. Excuse my hand because I had a fall the other day and I'm battered scarred. Um, there is a plastic, a plastic poly, polystyrene tube, um, which I start rolling with, and then I end up with. Um, I'm sorry, I've got so much rubbish around here. Uh, I start rolling and then I clip it at each end with a little tiny, you can see by finger how small they are, a little tiny bulldog clip, keeps that in place. And then at the top, 
I put a clip, hold it in place, and then I haven't actually done this yet, but cut along these lines to do whatever whatever area you want to do. This one's got two sheets. Tall sheets does plenty. Oh no, that's one sheet, isn't it? Um but they're not they haven't scored it across ways. So I will do that before I actually start. Um this thing I actually saw <laughs> we we made these, we had fun with these. Um we had these there. I didn't realise how strong the magnets are. They are a nightmare to get off. I didn't realise that magnets came in all shapes and sizes. But what happens is you, if you're doing a bit here, just make sure you peel it back. And then the idea is, which I can't do one handed, because this is going to be a nightmare. Um, you put the magnet underneath this bit and it sticks like that so then you do your your bit of work and then you take it off and you fold it back and you've got no creases you haven't had to fold it back or anything so um yeah but the magnet is strong and um i just don't know whether they they do different strengths or whether they are all all that that strong I don't know but anyway that's how I would do a large painting with the rolled up bit when you get to a certain point you can start rolling it the other way from the top and do the same thing but roll it from the outside don't roll it in with the drills inside because if you do that you will get some pop off you might get some pop off anyway, um, but if you do it this way, you're less likely to do that. So I hope that helps and um, I'm now going to get on and do a painting for myself, which is going to be nice. Because I love doing paintings for other people. Um, I just don't get a chance to do them for me. So, um, oh yes, that's, that's just a little thing of wax. So... Um, no, I can't do it one handed either. I don't know. Trust me, it's got wax in it. Oh, there we go. There. Which I don't use very much. I tend to use them on um, on the little um, partial drills if people want want one. So, uh, but I'll, and I'll just use like a normal pen, my pen or whatever. So, so that's it. That's me. It's me all set up. And so housework goes out of the window when I get into to doing my DPing. But if you've got any questions, um, message me. Uh, I've got the Facebook page, which is White Diamond Art UK. And I've got my website, which is www.whitediamondartuk.com. And I'll answer any questions you've got. Um, if you want to send me any pictures of paintings you've done, then I'd love to see them. And with your permission, I will put them on the page because I think it's lovely to see what other people do and what sort of style of painting people like. So there we go. Have a lovely day. Enjoy yourselves in quarantine. And um, I will speak to you soon. Bye for now.